located along the cobblestone streets of historic downtown New Bedford is a place named Tia Maria's European Cafe. Thank you. Where a bubbly young woman is living her dream. Portuguese burger. And that woman's name is Jessica Coelho. Coelho means rabbit in Portuguese. <laughs> so it's Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica is proudly Portuguese. Her parents immigrated to the U.S. in the 1970s, but as a teen, Jessica would spend her summers back in the old country. Most people go to like summer camp. My parents would sell me to Portugal, and I absolutely loved it. I love the culture. I love the ambiance. You'd go to the coffee shop in the morning. That's where you'd meet your friends, and I kind of wanted and always felt like this is what I want to do. I hope to one day have my own little cafe. So about two years ago, she opened Tia Maria's, paying homage to her Portuguese roots and her four aunts, all named Maria. Tia Maria means Aunt Maria in Portuguese. In this area, we have a large Portuguese population, and so everyone has a Tia Maria. Tia Maria serves breakfast and lunch every day and dinner on Friday and Saturday nights. There are fresh baked pastries, fresh brewed coffee, and plenty of flavor packed Portuguese fare. Portuguese food tends to be garlicky, spicy, very flavorful. A lot of my recipes in my menu is from my mom and my dad from what they brought over from Portugal. Mom and dad don't just provide the recipes, they also help with the cooking back in Tia Maria's cramped kitchen. This is our small kitchen where we work miracles and magic. <laughs> my mom is my uh, secret weapon. She's the one that gives me that authentic Portuguese cooking. It doesn't get any more authentic than this. And this is my dad. He's my, uh, my potato peeler. He'll start his mornings off where he just peels the potato. From there, he puts them in water, and then we slice as needed. And dad does all that slicing by hand, cutting the spuds into fried potato rounds known as rodelas. Rodelas in Portuguese, rodelas means round. They are similar to a potato chip. However, they're a little bit thicker. They're not as crispy. They're a little bit on the softer side. And they're served with just about everything, alongside a sandwich, with a steak, and even a Top the outrageously awesome Portuguese burger. It's an eight ounce hand packed 100% Angus burger. It's topped with a piece of linguiça, overlay egg, the rodelas, and then it's topped with hot peppers and it's served on a Portuguese roll, which is similar to a bulky roll. Most people will then smush it all together and they just go for it. Breakfast at Tia Maria's is extra hearty. There's Portuguese style steak and eggs, a Portuguese take on an egg sandwich topped with linguiça, plus loaded home fries and sweet bread fries. French toast. Lunch and dinner are just as filling, especially when you order one of the most popular dishes to come out of the tiny kitchen, shrimp Mozambique. Mozambique sauce is a spicy garlic saffron sauce, and ours is also a little bit on the spicier side. It's garlic, olive oil, and we use a little bit of lemon juice, and a few little extras that gives it our own twist. Another dish where the sauce is the star is Tia Maria's Portuguese steak. This perfectly grilled steak is topped with two eggs and hot peppers, then smothered with deep, dark, delicious gravy. My mom makes my gravy, and it takes her, I'd say, a good five hours from start to finish. It's meat-based. In addition to that, she purees vegetables into the gravy, and then on top of that, of course, we add the garlic and the spices. It's super flavorful. The value here is off the charts. Entrees are in the low teens, and appetizers are less than 10 bucks. So start your meal with an order of Portuguese nachos, homemade shrimp croquettes, or the fiery and festive Charisse Bombiero. We actually pour some moonshine over. It, and then we light a flame to it and it's served open flame to the table. Uh, well, a lot of people, they get a little nervous that, you know, oh, my hair's gonna get on fire or oh, I'm gonna burn myself. And we're super careful. It's definitely one of the funner appetizers, just the presentation of it. And it's something that most of our customers, they get excited for. <laughs> Tia Maria's is housed inside a building that's almost 200 years old, and customers love to hang out, sipping coffee, and snacking on authentic Portuguese pastries. These are called Fischel de Nattage. They're custard tarts. They have a little bit of a lemon zest and a crusty outer shell. In fact, it's so comfortable here, sometimes customers stay a bit too long, leading to a parking ticket. But Jessica found a way to turn that sour note sweet. Well, when you get a parking ticket here at Tia Maria's, as long as it's dated today and the parking violation, 
we actually use the city's parking violation as a form of coupon. So to kind of like sweeten up your day, we'll give you a free Pichel de Nata. And so it's just kind of my way like, hey, I appreciate your business. I'm sorry this happened to you, but here's something sweet to possibly turn that frown upside down. But just to be clear, who pays the ticket? The customers pay the ticket. I'm just giving you the sweet and hopefully that entices you to come back. <laughs>